beginning of my video log, June 2022, I think it's the 11th. You know, this Georgia Guidestone thing getting blown up, it's just another Hegelian dialectic. Because I have so many questions. Like, they got a video camera, and it only captured the moment it exploded. Why didn't they get the people putting the bomb there? Or driving away? Well, maybe because whoever put it there also destroyed it. No big deal. Because I think everything is uh, produced. Everything's a set. The world is a stage. And if we can turn off our TVs, everything could go back to normal. We wouldn't have to worry about shit. Really. Imagine watching the news and not having 10 extra questions after they tell their story. But what I'm getting at is here is uh, how can we pull away from the world and its ways and live as a people outside of that box? What happens when they stop stocking the grocery stores? People worry me. Because most of them are selfish assholes anyway. Because of the, the American dream. You know. Me, myself, and I. Mine, me, mine. Get me, mine stuff for me. You know. So... That's my question. How many people feel the same way I do? They want to just get out, but you can't. Just navigate the world without getting in trouble. It's kind of difficult to do. Don't forbid you pay your taxes. Oh, God, you're in trouble then. But, uh, how can we get together as a community like minds thinking the same with the the mindset of instead of me and mine about us as a group survival of the colony what's best for everyone to get everyone into that same mindset seems like an impossible task but I've been living that way my whole life. Putting others first. You know, maybe not buying the motorcycle I want. Just so that somebody else could maybe make a house payment or have food. Or maybe I gave a car away instead of selling it because somebody couldn't afford it. It seems easy to me, but... People kind of suck. Not all of them, but most of them. That's the way I feel. Thanks. Catch you tomorrow.